Hello, Shamesh. Today I'm going to be reading Sadie's Lagba Omer Mystery. One warm spring night, Sadie and Ori were out walking with their grandpa when they saw the full moon rise over the treetops. Startled by its brightness, Sadie asked, What holiday is it? At Hebrew school, she had learned that Jewish holidays often began with a full moon. Look at that big moon. The last full moon was on Passover, and the full moon before that was Purim. Ori remembered. But what holiday comes this month? Ah, said Grandpa. There is no holiday on the full moon this month, but there is a holiday soon after. Can you guess what it is? Sadie looked at Ori. Ori looked at Sadie. Is it a mystery? They said together. Jewish history has many mysteries, Grandpa agreed. Look at that. The next day, Sadie and Ori started to work on the mystery. Sadie looked on her calendar. A few days past the big circle showing the full moon, she wrote, read, Lagba Omer. What's Lagba Omer? said Ori. Sadie looked at Ori. Ori looked at Sadie. It's a mystery, they said together. First, they looked on their bookshelves. Sadie found books about Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Ori found books about <clears throat> Sakat and uh, Smshat Torah. Sadie found books about Hanukkah and Purim. Ori found books about Passover and Shabbat, <clears throat> but neither one found a single book about Lagba Omer. In the living room, Ori found the shofar their father blew on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Sadie found the little Torah she carried in some chat Torah. Ori found menorahs and dreidels for Hanukkah. Sadie found candlesticks and Kiddush cups for Shabbat, but they didn't find anything for Lagba Omer. We need to ask some holiday ex experts, Sadie said. We asked the delivery man, what kind of presents do you deliver for Lagba Omer? I don't think I deliver presents for Lagba Omer, he said. What is Lagba Omer? Ori asked Aunt Kat, Katie, What do you do on Lagba Omer? Isn't that when you go on picnics, she suggested? Sadie asked Uncle Danny, What songs do you sing on Lagba Omer? Isn't that the holiday with bonfires? I guess you would sing campfire songs. Ori asked Grandma, what do you cook on Lagba Omer? You cook delicious foods like you do on every Jewish holiday, Grandma answered. Sadie and Ori found Grandpa outside, reading, the porch, reading on the porch swing. Did you solve the mystery? he asked. We've discovered that you go on picnics, build bonfires, sing songs, and eat delicious food, announced Ori. Sounds like a good holiday to me, said Grandpa. But Grandpa, what is Lagba Omer? Grandpa closed his book and helped his grandchildren uh, climb up beside him on the porch swing and began. A long time ago, there lived a great and wise teacher named Rabbi... Shimon Bo Yashai. 
Children came from far and wide to study with him, but the Roman emperor decreed that Jews could no longer study Torah. Rabbi Shimon was very sad. He missed teaching the children. At first, the students were happy to have time to play, but soon they missed their teacher and his clever stories. They knew they had to figure out a way to continue to study and learn. One day, while running in the woods, the children found a secret cave hidden behind some trees. Inside, they discovered a huge room with a stream large enough to splash in. They showed it to Rabbi Simon, Shimon, and he agreed it was the perfect hiding spot for him to study and for them to come and learn. The cave became Rabbi Shimon's home. He drank water from its spring and ate the fruit of the crab tree that grew at its entrance. And the cave became a classroom where students studied Torah with Rabbi Shimon. To fool the Romans, the children often packed picnics as if they were going off on an outing. Some disguised themselves as hunters and carried bows and arrows. Rabbi Shimon lived in the cave for many years until the Roman emperor died and the decree was lifted. Lagba Omer has become a day to remember Rabbi Shimon. Jews all over the world gather around bonfires to have picnics, sing, dance, and tell stories about his bravery. This year, let's build our own bonfire, Ori said. When Grandpa had finished, we can invite our friends and celebrate. On Langba Omer, Sadie and Ori and their family and friends gathered in their backyard. The picnic table was piled high with corn on the cob, grilled chicken legs, crisp green salad, chocolate brownies, and strawberry lemonade. Oh, yum! After dinner, they lit a bonfire. Sadie and Ori's mother reached for her guitar and began to play. Soon everyone joined in singing. We've solved the mystery of Lagba Omer, said Sadie told Ori, as sparks from the campfire lit the camp lit the sky. The end. I hope you enjoyed the video and I love seeing all of you that make it to the Zoom in the mornings. Have a great day.